ladies and gentlemen, this is our first professional bout of the evening in the light heavyweight division here at Contenders. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner from Sarpsborg GMMA. Put your hands together for Christian Lapsley. And opponent standing across the cage in the blue corner from Artesport. Put your hands together for Juan Fernandez. This professional mixed martial arts bout will be take place in the light heavyweight division and will be fought over three five minute rounds. Your referee in charge of the action, Mr. Dan Moverheady. So welcome ladies and gentlemen to Contender 16 here in Norwich. I am Rob Nutley with me, Dean. And it hasn't it been a great show so far? Oh man, it has been absolutely astounding. The talent rising up, it's been amazing. But now we go to the pro card. And straight away, we're into it with the light heavyweights. Red corner, Christian Lapsley versus Juan Fernandez. And Juan with a big kick straight away. Using that height and reach advantage. Oh, kick and a slip there from Juan. Ends up on his back. Lapsley straight on top. Lapsley utilizing, utilizing that whizzer. He sees overhook the army. Could be setting up a guillotine here. Fernandez did the right thing. Stepped over to keep that leg on the opposite side. And again, we're seeing the cage. Lapsley looking to cage walk. He's going to post his right arm down and then walk his hips back up. But Juan Fernandez notices that. And he's grabbing that rear leg. He's got his hand around the ankle there of the right leg of Lapsley. He's pulling that away so he can't stand up. Just picking at it beautifully. Trying to regain some control. Fernandez very composed in this position. Let's see if he can open up with some strikes because that will make Lapsley take his hand away from standing up and defend. Good knee to the body there from Fernandez. Fernandez looking to separate in that clinch area. Lapsley opting to use the cage for the takedown. Nice knee down the middle, big knee to the midsection. Lapsley shakes it off and returns fire. Lapsley working for this single leg. Turned into a high crotch attempt here, but Fernandez has got that whizzer that you see his left arm is overhooked. The right nicely. arm there, yeah, that, that enables him to gain a bit of sort of anti-grappling that keeps him an upright position and it enables him to manipulate Lapsley and keep him an upright. As you see, Lapsley tries a single leg there, unfruitful. Fernandez now lands on top. Fernandez looking for that big knee. Both fighters up on their feet here. Fernandez looking to place that knee. It looks like he's looking loading up for that rear kick. Good shot to the body there. Nice feint with the hands up high. Let's see if Lapsley can work in this overhand right. Opts for a kick. Fernandez keeps his, his head squatted down there. He's a very tall fighter. He's coiled in. They see his back's rounded. Brings his chin closer to Lapsley. If he can try and place that overhand right. Lapsley just closing that range. Good catch of the leg. What will he do with it from this position? Looking for the ankle pick. Fernandez again with that wizard and then he utilized head pressure. See his, his wrist there is across the face of Lapsley. He's trying to using that to kind of lever him upwards. Take him away from controlling the hip area and the legs. I was just about to say Lapsley could expend a lot of energy fighting for that single. Let's it go, looks for another possibility. It's kind of the invisible side to grappling here. You kind of, if you'd look on, you think, oh, what are they actually doing? But there's head pressure going on here from Lapsley. And equally, Fernandez in an opposite direction is trying to, oh, big knee. See the elbow over the top from Lapsley, but Fernandez instantly firing back. That big loop in overhand right, obviously a danger to the taller man. Lapsley needs to think 
think about placing that, we need to mask it with combinations. Make Fernandez think somewhere else and then place it over and right. He can't just throw it off the back because Fernandez will see that coming and move out the way. A lot of action here in the light heavyweight division. Oh, beautiful. Fernandez shook his head. But it was a beautiful connection. I heard that connection, but he shook his head. I mean, that could be tactful on Fernandez's part. That might have hurt him. And he's shaking his head, saying, ah, you know what, that didn't hurt me. It may well have done, because there certainly wasn't a smile. Lapsley uses that opportunity again to start working this invisible grappling up against the cage. He's looking to force his lead leg in between the legs of Fernandez and perhaps lasso onto a leg or even both the legs and pull Fernandez down to the mat. I mean, both fighters in this position, just to put it into perspective, they'll be expending a lot of energy. It takes a hell of a lot of energy to keep somebody where they are. That was a nice elbow over the top there from Fernandez. Sucks a lot out of you trying to control somebody here in the grappling realm. Very difficult fight to score if it goes that far. Look for the replay here, some of the action. Overhand right and a miss from Lapsley. It had its moments in the first round, but it was full a lot of the time up against the cage, wasn't it? Again with that turning kick, shake off by Fernandez. But like you said, Rob, it does take a lot out of you. This is going to pay dividends on their cardio, and it will come to fruit in the later rounds. the action, Fernandez fires that jab. Pro MMA action here in contenders. Fernandez opting to go for that body shot. Oh. It punches on the inside. Oh. Drops Lee's call. Referee Dan Mavahidi looking on, but Lapsley straight into the action. That drop Lapsley, but like the seasoned veteran he is, he uses this clinch to recover, very important here. He got rocked and he needs to start protecting his head. And the best way to do that is to not get hit. You see him here, he's using that head pressure again, forcing the head away of Fernandez. Trying to control him up against the cage there. Knee to the body there. Very aware still of the rules. Careful not to knee the head of a downed opponent going to, to the body. So Lapsley showing that he's still in this fight, almost certainly recovered from that big shot from Fernandez. As look, he passes here now to side control. Or he could be looking for the, the, the crucifix here. Fernandez using brute force to sit himself up there. Huge amount of strength and energy it takes to get upright. Again, Lapsley sitting in the open half guard of Fernandez. I think Fernandez here is just trying to limit the damage. He's doing a good job of hiding his head. Lapsley again fighting it down to the mat, using the shoulder pressure to try and pass. Fernandez just working his way back to his feet now. Lapsley just using that head control. Lapsley sprawling down, making Fernandez work. This is what we talk about, Rob, with the invisible grapple inside of it. He's wearing Fernandez down. Mentally and physically, he sprawls all his weight, forces him to work underneath. That takes a lot out of a person, especially if he can't escape. It does, and then it also rocks your confidence. Fernandez just looking up to the sky, Lapsley just peppering those shots. Lapsley again showing his superior grappling skills in this fight. Fernandez looking to, hit. what he'll do is he's trying to walk his hips and almost get his butt up against that cage and try and walk up. But see what Lapsley did there? He's turning him away from the cage. Doesn't want to give Fernandez that way out. Lapsley doing a great job, top position, just controlling his man, firing the shots, at, giving opportunities. Referee opting for a stand up. We could have a timeout here. Oh, readjustment of the gloves. Excellent referee work here. 
contenders just get the, the top referees from around the country to keep these fighters safe. Dan Mohidi in there, very experienced ref. Fernandez on the outside. I like he's trying to fake out, but he needs to be careful about giving Lapsley those legs. So we know Lapsley likes to take the, the fight to the floor. I'd like to see Fernandez. Yes, there we go. Work at range. Oh, oh it's easy beautiful. kick. Just about to say to work at range, fire those up, cuts at the middle. Beautiful oh my goodness! Work by Lapsley with a leg kick, drops his man instantly. Big elbows from the top again. Lapsley utilising the rules of pro MMA. Downward elbows. Be careful not to go from 12 to 6 because we know they're illegal. He's coming from the side on. Very aware in this fight. Very impressed with Lapsley's ability to interchange the techniques. Lapsley now trying to make the transition to back, doesn't quite get it. Ends up inside the guard of Fernandez. Fernandez just with a foot on the inside, half butterfly, possibly looking to get a sweep if he can capitalise on any mistake that Lapsley might make. Lapsley on top now. Fernandez looks like he's just damaged control from the bottom. He's to be careful about leaving that leg out because Lapsley will look to pass, he'll look to stuff that knee down, the right knee down. And circle around to that side. Nice elbow from the bottom from Fernandez. Really active. Fernandez needs to think about opting for the stand up here. He could be looking for a triangle. He flicks that leg over the neck. Lapsley saw it coming and used it to pass. Beautiful, Beautiful stuff. Work. Looking to move into mount possibly. Happy with side mount. Lapsley again with this downward pressure, just able to pin Fernandez to the canvas. Very dominant performance and a round for Lapsley. In control for that entire round, able to assert himself in the top position. Great replay here. Fernandez pumping that jab out, going to the body. He's staying at, he stays at range there, but he lets Lapsley get in, drops him on the inside. Lapsley looking for the clinch to recover. Let's see if Fernandez can keep maintain this distance and strike with power at that range, not let Lapsley get on. He needs to think about striking and circling off, using the sprawl to stop Lapsley getting underneath him. Lapsley with a beautiful kick, but eats a right hand. Big knee from Fernandez as Lapsley closed the distance. Lapsley now on the outside. Looks like he's waking, waiting for the ample opportunity to duck under and take on the legs, turning back kick from Lapsley. Never know what Lapsley's going to do. You can never sediment and think, right, he's going to take me down because he just throw a crazy strike and throw you off guard. Lapsley could be looking for the rear uppercut. Seems to be showing it a little bit. Again, Fernandez just leaning forward, just... His entire body just kind of leans and his head just tilts that little bit far forward, chin hanging over the edge. Needs to be very, very careful. Yeah, he's given up that, that distance. He's got the reach, he's got the long, lean limbs. He needs to utilize that to his advantage. He doesn't want to come down to Lapsley's level in the way of height, because that gives Lapsley an advantage. Here we go, fire off at range. Lapsley, very durable, tough chin. He's got a lot of work to do. We know he's got to get inside the range and the distance of Fernandez. Fernandez going to the body. I'd like to see him fake that low shot and then come over the top. Again, big punches, but Lapsley does not give Fernandez that room and initiates the clinch. Looking for the ankle pick. Again, Fernandez 
using the head and the whizzer to lead for Lapsley back up. Lapsley with some punches there, racking up points. Fernandez able to hold him here. That whizzer is proving fruitful. I like the knees. Returned again by Fernandez. Lapsley drops down for this single. Potentially use the hip bump sweep here. There we go. Bumps off Beautiful. the cage, sucks the hip straight out. It's like he was listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Fernandez though, really impressed with his, his ability to defend the advances of Lapsley. He's utilizing that space there, that long limbs. You see he's got his arm extended out, blocking the the arm there because Lapsley wants to pass that knee and also pull his arm around to grab the head as you see there he grabs the head with his left arm really serving to control Fernandez and Fernandez again looking to just try and scoot out the back post up use his back use his back against the cage nice elbows from the bottom Lapsley again grinding out this fight, keeping that dominant downward pressure. Fernandez perhaps looking for the triangle there, but Lapsley's too wise. Looks like Fernandez is going to use this opportunity to stand up, but Lapsley again keeps him busy, keeps that pressure, keeps advancing, forcing Fernandez to play catch up. Blood here. I don't know. It's, oh, it seems like Lapsley's opened up. Maybe from those elbows those from the bottom. Those chopping elbows. Yeah. I have seen it before where exactly the same technique has cut someone and stopped a fight. So it's, it is possible. It's and Fernandez. that does look yeah. messy. He's smelling blood. He's going for that cut. He's trying to punch to that forehead area of Lapsley. Oh, big Beautiful. elbow. Lapsley now will be thinking about that cut. It will be on his mind. There's a lot of blood and it will bother him. But we're nearing the end of the round now. Lapsley grinding it out. Utilising his grappling ability to control this fight. As Fernandez drops to the floor. Lapsley with his hands up. But ultimately the judges will decide. at the replay this is where we saw the majority of the fight take place after the first round Lapsy seemed to be able to control and dominate from this position although that dangerous chopping little elbow those right there I think those are the ones that opened him up let's see if we catch it on the replay but those short little elbows they just afford to slice against the forehead but it could have been too little too late there we go I think that could have been it Fernandez working that triangle, but Lapsley's grappling. Prowez is just through the roof. He's able to nullify that, start to pass. Evident of this, like you said, Rob, this whole fight, the consensus of just Lapsley able to impose his grappling will on Fernandez. But it'll be the judges that ultimately decide whose hand gets raised in victory. We're about to find Ladies out. Ladies and gents, let's give it up for our first pro fighters of the evening. They didn't disappoint. What a great bout. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Your winner in the red corner, Christian Lapsley. Ladies and gents, give it up for Juan Fernandez.